Phew. It took me all day to move that topsoil. <coughs> Dear Tim and Moby, I'm doing a report on natural resources. Is air considered a natural resource? From Marty. Well, natural resources include anything in nature that people value. Since the atmosphere contains the oxygen we breathe and the carbon dioxide that plants use for photosynthesis, I'd say that air qualifies as a natural resource. Well, th there are lots of different kinds of natural resources. Like other organisms, we depend on clean water and air. And we use energy sources like fossil fuels, wood, wind, and sunlight for everything from running cars to powering entire cities. The Earth's crust contains valuable mineral resources like metals and other elements. Even plants and animals are natural resources. It's, it's actually pretty amazing how much use we put our planet to. Uh, no, plastic isn't a natural resource because it doesn't occur on its own in nature. It's made from oil, though, which is a natural resource. Get it? People generally divide natural resources into two main categories, renewable and non-renewable. Renewable resources include any natural resource that can replenish itself or that has a seemingly unlimited supply. Fish and forests are renewable resources because they're both living things that can reproduce. The sun is considered a renewable source of energy because it's probably going to last into the distant future. Non-renewable resources include natural resources that are in limited supply or that take a long time to create. Fossil fuels and minerals fall into the category of non-renewable resources. There's only a certain amount of each on Earth at any time. No, just because a resource is renewable doesn't mean it can never run out. A forest can be chopped down much faster than it can regrow. And even though soil is produced naturally over time, soil erosion is a big problem for a lot of countries. Right, that's why it's important for people to take good care of our natural resources. It's easy to take renewable resources like air and water for granted, but pollution can quickly make our environment almost unlivable. That's why there's so much research going into renewable energy sources like wind, hydroelectricity, and solar power. They make more sense than fossil fuels because they'll never run out, and they don't pollute as much. Well, that's the idea behind conservation. Everyone can do their part to conserve or save our natural resources. At home, you can recycle all paper, plastic, and aluminum products. Easing up on the use of air conditioning and heating just a little bit saves money and fuel. And you can save a lot of water just by turning off the faucet while you brush your teeth. This soil? I'm building a Norse burial mound for my action figures. Want to help? Farewell, Commander Ozone. We hardly knew ye.